Welcome to parent life. <laughs> this is what going out to a nice lunch together is. Oh my goodness! He loves it! Oh my gosh, this is the best thing he's ever done. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. We've got an exciting day today. We're going to a little town nearby called Lewis. I've driven through, but I haven't actually stopped and explored. There's an amazing castle there, apparently one of the oldest castles in the whole of the UK. There's loads of little quaint little streets. We'll probably grab some lunch, do some shopping, Christmas mm. shopping. Unfortunately, also, Ryan has lost her voice. This is what I sound like. It's kind of, well, it's kind of coming back a little bit, but this morning it was completely gone for a few hours. But hopefully, <laughs> This is not a sign of what's to come this vlog with. Hopefully it's one day of it being weird and then I just drink tons of tea, ginger, and oranges, vitamin C, all the things, and then it comes back. I know, Neo, I feel you. You'll be back on your feet in no time. <laughs> I hope so. Right, okay. let's do this. Minus one outside right now. You can see like ice on all the roofs and cars and everything, it's crazy. Um, Teslas have this amazing function where you can defrost the car remotely. So I turned that on before we left. Also, one of my favorite things is there's a seat warmer for every seat in the car. Because mm -hmm. my mom's car was only in the front, so if you sit in the back, you're screwed. But here, no matter where you're sitting, your butt could be warm. Right, it is. Oh, look at the picture of where we're going. I'm sure it'll be beautifully decorated now, too. Yeah, there's a flea market. And there's loads of cool little pubs and stuff, and I'm sure there'll be lots of vegan options. 26 minutes, let's do it. Today is the last sunny day of the week, potentially, yeah. unless the weather switches, but uh, it's gorgeous this time of year because the sun's so low in the winter in this part of uh, the world that it's basically golden hour all day. It's this amazing, like, golden light that's coming in from the side, so. Um, it does also mean it's like in your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but anyway. But it's pretty. It's very yeah. pretty. We have arrived in Lewis. Weirdly, it's not sunny here. As we came over the hill on the motorway, we kind of descended into this valley and it's just cloudy. So it's even colder here than it is in Hove. We are walking to get some lunch now. Raya's found a vegan Korean restaurant, which is rated five stars. So we're gonna go check it out. Raya basically asked him what dishes are not spicy, and we ordered them all. Well, there's only three of them, so they still- They're out of rice. So yeah, they're out of rice. I think that means they're out of product. Right. Um, so we are eagerly waiting lunch. We're both probably a tiny bit hangry, so we just need to like subside that, eat, fuel up, and then we're gonna go on an adventure around the town. Um, it's challenging, I think, with Neo keeping him super warm outside that when we bring him inside for any period of time, we need to kind of strip off his hat and his like big warm onesie so he doesn't overheat. Also, it's a good thing we have our small pram because the streets here are tiny, the sidewalks are tiny, the restaurants are tiny. It's a very like classic village, so this, this travel pram is a must. Yeah. <laughs> So one of the challenges, I think we mentioned this in the other vlog as well, is when we go out and about in Neo, often he doesn't want to just be sitting down. So every opportunity we can, I think it's about letting him walk around, hold on to things, explore, maybe not crawl around on 30 floors, although I let him a little bit. Um, so I just took him on a little adventure around the restaurant. We found a wind up Santa Claus that he like dances a little bit. Do you like it? Yeah. 
You had fun, didn't you? You found some things. Neo's having his lunch before we're having our lunch. I think after this feed, he might go down for a little sleep. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, we have udon soup and dumplings. We have scrambled tofu and avocado toast, it looks like. And then we have mushroom and udon soup over here. Pretty good selection. I'm ready to tuck in. Are you sleepy yet? Are you, are you sleepy yet? You wanna, you wanna have a little sleep? That's Neo in the, in the, in the screen. That's Neo, that's you. We're just letting Raya Eat. Probably gonna have to take it in turns. Unless you want to go to sleep. You want to go to sleep? Welcome to Parent Life. This is what going out to the next lunch together is. We were just saying this noodle soup is very heartwarming and delicious. And uh, that's what you want, or not? You're sick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear anything I'm saying. Can you hear anything? Can you hear anything I'm saying? <laughs> this is exactly what you want when you're feeling sick. You know? Yeah. Hearty, warming bra. Hearty, warming bra. Mm -mm. Leo's uh, very occupied with this little teaspoon. Guys, look, this is tied into a knot. What I don't know heck? how it did that. <laughs> how did it do that? We just left the restaurant and literally across the road. Look at I this. Just say, how do we live 20 minutes away from a freaking castle? And we've uh, never been here. I don't know if we've told you guys, but we're hosting our families for Christmas. Did we tell them? Mm. We're hosting, it's gonna be 16 people staying in our house. My family's flying in from Bulgaria, from New York, everywhere. Anyway, I feel like this would be a really cool place to bring them. Yeah, absolutely. So I see some of our, some of my family has never been to England and this is a very British, classic village. Hello, mister. Oh my goodness. I feel like the mist gives it kind of a cool vibe. Yeah. See, it doesn't matter that the sun isn't here. <laughs> I guess not. This little tiny narrow alleyway is getting very crazy. Can you stand in front just in case? Yeah. Okay. One slight problem we have is I forgot to bring Neo's like sleeping shade that we put over his pram when he's sleeping. I think he struggles a little bit when it's like bright light in his face. So if he doesn't easily drop off to sleep, I might need to take my coat off and drape it over. Then I'm gonna be a little chillier. But it's worth it to let him get his nap in. Hello. Imagine if someone opened the door. I always find these doorways hilarious. Like, I am tall, but this is a good thing with having such a lightweight little pram. It's <laughs> very. It's literally a round house. That's so cool. It's called the round house. I think it has an upstairs and downstairs, but look how tiny it is. Wow. On the drive in, we spotted this children's clothes shop and we are desperately looking for some shoes for Neo and a hat because all of the hats we have somehow are too small. <laughs> yeah. Go the biggest. <laughs> 24 months. This should fit him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is the cutest bookshop ever. I've just walked back to the castle entrance because I think we can actually get inside the castle, which would be pretty amazing. Uh, and I've seen the sign which says that it was built 
soon after the Normans conquered England in 1066. So yeah, almost a thousand years. Now, unfortunately, castle entry closed like 10 minutes ago. So I definitely want to come back here, maybe with some friends or family and do a full tour. They say you need at least an hour and a half to kind of explore okay. the castle. So we'll have to save that for another day. But yeah, like Raya said, the fact that we didn't even know about this, it's one of the oldest castles in the UK and it's like 20 minutes from where we live pretty incredible and we that means I we can feel, just come back whenever. oh yeah and i feel like that's so classic england like there's so many epic things that are so old yeah that are so close to you, even maybe where you live that you don't know about yet i just feel like in some of our vlogs when we went to like boston and stuff we were like wow look at that old building and that was like yeah 200 in america old. they're like this tree's a thousand years yeah. old here it's like <laughs> this castle's a thousand years yeah. old <laughs> So, okay, do you want to see what I got? Yeah, what did you get on I your hit, little I hit spree? book jackpot at the charity shop. Ooh. This is like a classic that I always see. The snail and the whale. So I've been wanting to get it. Okay. Okay, okay here's another Christmas book. Ooh, nice. The Badger's Christmas book. The more Christmas books, the better. Yeah. For Neo's Speaking Advent of, calendar. I also want to get for other celebrating other holidays. So I wanted Ooh. to learn about different holidays. This is about Ramadan. Lovely. Another Christmas one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this and I thought it was really funny. I didn't think you would want it. I'm a super secret germ fighter. And it's all about like <laughs> learning how to wash your hair. That is so you. Wait, it's so good. What was the part? It's like, oh yeah. I try not to bite my fingernails or suck my thumbs, especially after playing outside at the park. I was like, yes, I want Neo to learn this. I'm going to be like, ignore that bit. <laughs> no, I'm going to read this to him every day. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, and then I found an ornament for us. Ooh. This is our special ornament of the day. I can't believe I literally left you for 10 minutes and you... <laughs> Look, Ooh. it's so cute. This fits our color scheme. Oh, that's cute. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay. We've popped back into this charity shop that Raya was in. I found the best Christmas present. It's a little piano. I mean, it could possibly have the potential to be annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check this out, you can actually hold it a sec. I think this is it, this is it. He's gonna love this. He's gonna be a musician, I know it. Whoa! <laughs> this is a grocery shop. <laughs> it's beautiful. We probably don't need to go into the bookstore, right? I think we just buy enough books. Yeah, we don't need to get to the bookstore. <laughs> okay. But well, I want to go down some of the cute little alleys. Any of your parents out there that are obsessed with buying children's books and wooden children's toys, those two things, and also clothes for him, those three things, I literally cannot buy enough. But also, like I said, I buy them all secondhand. They're like a pound here and there. So it doesn't feel like I'm like spending tons of money or it's a waste for anything. So I think because of that, we have so many children's books. Do you know it's what I think crazy. it is as well? I think it's because for so many years, we yeah. didn't have somewhere. I mean, I guess we were in LA, but this is the first time we've had like our own place with space to put things. But also buying for me isn't as fun. Buying for him, are you kidding me? Yeah. Cute books, cute little clothes and toys. <laughs> it feels like an investment. It feels like an yeah. investment. Um, there's another Twitter shop. Are you want to go in? Past. You want to go in? Yeah, just real quick. Just real quick. <laughs> Angel across the top of the Christmas tree yeah. is intense. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's a statue behind the tree. I was like, that is, how is that balance at the top of the tree? Does <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it look like it from your angle? Yeah, though? yeah. <laughs> this is the Lewis Flea Market. Apparently, it's amazing. Ooh, okay. Door. Did you just walk past the store? Wow. <laughs> what the heck? I feel 
like this is one of those places that you need to come here knowing what you're interested in and then looking for those gems, trying to find the thing you're interested in. I think me coming here, not really with an agenda, it's a little bit overwhelming. I'm like, do I want another guitar? A pair of binoculars? Oh, I'm, I am eyeing up that globe over there. Check out this gramophone. I definitely don't need a gramophone, but that is amazing. What I do need is a lamp, so I might I maybe get one of these lamps. Yeah, this is a cool, this yeah, is a cool a nice lamp. One. It's a yeah. No, I'm not sure I can just switch that bulb out. Chrome lamp. It's going to go perfectly on my desk at home. I think Alexia told us to get it because now that he's crawling around, I feel like he wants something cool to crawl through. That's what this is. Are you excited? Let me see if not yet. This bad. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be so good. Okay. Thank you. Mia. Hello. Hello, cutie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah! Cutie! Oh, he's got scared. Cutie! Cutie! Hello? Yeah! Oh my goodness! He loves it! Oh my gosh, this is the best thing he's ever done. Oh no! No, no! <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, bye, Neo. Oh no! <laughs> you wanna come? You wanna come to Tata? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, Neo. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Almost bedtime, so I thought Neo could pick a book that we can read today. Look, which one would you like? Look. Great choice. This is the book that he picked. Hmm. I might just switch it out for one of the more simple ones, just because I really. Shouldn't be talking much anymore. Look, ready? That's not my polar bear. Its ears are too soft. That's not my polar bear. Its claws are too shiny. The problem is after we read a few of these books and we go to a book that doesn't have like textured bits, he's still scratching around trying to find the textured bits. That's not my polar bear. Its nose is too squashy. Say squashy in England instead of squishy. I'm gonna say squishy. Its nose is too squishy. That's not my polar bear. Ooh, its tongue is too rough. That's a fun one that makes sounds when you scratch it. That's my polar bear. Its tummy is so fluffy. Okay, okay. Let's walk around, crawl around, and jump up and down, jump up and down. By the way, if you're wondering why Neo's jumping in the intro, it's because he's always jumping. Okay, so um, we've had another slightly difficult night with Neo. I think he's down now. Uh, Raya has just got some food for us and we've got some friends visiting, Spencer and Robin. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have dinner now. And uh, we also just dropped the second episode of our Vlogmas series. And uh, loads of you are buying all of the merch and I'm so grateful. It's really exciting. I've got like the notification sent on and Shopify and uh, get over to the store because stuff selling quick. What's uh, what's for dinner? Same as yesterday, just using up our leftovers for okay. to London tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so you, you look good vlogging. Yeah. I've seen you vlogging like, <laughs> a couple of years. Ago. I know. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> right, our friends have gone. 
It was really nice catching up with them. I feel like during Vlogmas there's going to be lots of opportunities for us to like catch up with friends and family and I think sometimes that's just going to take a priority over like filming content yeah, and stuff in the evenings especially. But anyway, it's that time of night where we're about to get to the advent calendars which you all loved in the last video. I'm reading all your comments now. Um, but first we're going to answer a question. Like we said, we're going to try to answer a question in every video. So if you have questions, please, please leave them down below. Um, you can do like funny ones, deep ones. I think we, it's fun to kind of mix it up. But I just screenshotted a random one that we got. Okay, what are you both most proud of in the last month? Mm. I mean, can we talk about Neo? Because that's probably where <laughs> most of my pride lies. Yeah, you can. I mean, I'll do two really quickly. I think okay. I'm so proud of our little guy. I think he's just learning so quickly. I just feel like so much pride. We, mainly Briar, made him <laughs> and we're nurturing him into this world. He's, he seems to be thriving, honestly. Um, then for myself, I mean, maybe, I think often I'm able just to stay in a really good mindset. Obviously we have like off moments and days where things are hard, but I think in general, no matter what kind of obstacles or little things I have to do to adapt in life. I, I just feel like we're thriving and I feel like a part of that is being able to adapt. And so I feel like I'm quite proud that I'm able to do that. I don't know if that made any sense. I'm really proud of us for taking on Vlogmas. I think it would have been easy to like talk ourselves out of it. And there were a few times where I was like, should we do every other day? Are we being crazy? I don't know, but I think I'm just proud of us for like going all in and trying yeah. our best. And, and I want to say thank you. There's so many comments, people saying like, you know, don't stress it too much. And if you need to skip a day, go for it. So thank you. Um, that's amazing. Um, but I don't know. I'm really, I'm I mean, we're very early on still, mm. but I'm loving it, even if it, though I can't talk today. So yeah. I'm really proud of us for, and then obviously everything about Neo. I'm proud of him, I'm proud of us, like the kind of parents we are um, to him individually and then how we parent together in our relationship and how much stronger it's getting through everything, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you ready for chocolate? Yeah, always. <laughs> so I think yesterday this was our favorite one out of the two, right? Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see if it's different flavors each time. Okay, let me show you. This is the spec door. Can you see it? <laughs> Am I hitting you in the face? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm trying to look it around the corner. Okay. okay. Let's see. Let's see what kind of chocolate it is. Ooh, hazelnut. Oh, okay, let me open mine. I think this is going to be the same again. It's just going to be the same every day. I told you! Look, it's exactly the same. This one's different. Um. This one? Great, get your face out. <laughs> This one's hazelnut. If you're wondering why we're hiding our faces, it's because the cameras automatically <laughs> detect your face and they focus on that. That's why you have to hide. Yeah. I don't know if I want that. Shall I just eat it? Yeah. Okay, you have the nice ones. No, we can split this one. Oh, I can have one and a half. <laughs> wow. And then what's my teeth of the day? <clears throat> we should probably just hang this up in the kitchen. But... So good. Uh, do you see number two? Oh, here we go. Relax. Nice. Um, I'm gonna make this tea and then I have a very exciting thing. Again, I was supposed to start this yesterday, but it's okay, we're doing the best we can. I have a plan. Okay, I need to tell you something about me. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing, one of my favorite things to do is to do a puzzle, okay? I know that makes it sound like I'm like 90, that's fine. I've always loved it since I was a kid. Love doing it with my mom and it's just, oh, it just relaxes me so much. But I haven't made the time, had the time, or made the time to do a puzzle. I think since my 30th birthday mm. when we did one. Yeah. So it's been like a, almost a year and a half. And I really want to do a Christmas puzzle. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I think what I want to do is set a 15 minute timer every day. Because I can do 15 minutes a day. Come on. Surely I can do that. 15 minutes a day. And then let's see if I can get it done by Christmas. Okay, that's the goal. It's a thousand piece puzzle. I did pick a very complicated puzzle, so we'll see how we do. And then the other thing is I bought it secondhand at a charity shop again, so um, we'll see if we get to the end and there's some pieces missing that would suck if I've devoted a whole month to a puzzle I can't even finish, but 
Hopefully not. Um, so I'm gonna start that now. Because I didn't do one yesterday, I'm gonna set a 30 minute timer for tonight. And then I'm gonna do that. And then we need to pack, because I think we mentioned a couple times, but we're going to London tomorrow. I don't know if we did, did, did we? No, but we're going to London tomorrow London. for a few days. So. Which I, is, it technically we could go drive up from here and just visit London for the day, but it not really. Like it's it's like a two hour, over two hour drive. So we're gonna actually yeah. go up and stay in London. Yeah, make the most of it. Yeah, so anyway, I need to go pack because we're gonna leave first thing in the morning. But I wanna do the puzzle first, so let's go do that. <laughs> okay. This is the puzzle that I went for. It's quite complex, but it just looked really fun and festive. Thank Did you, you use scissors? Um, I have no idea how long it normally takes me to do a puzzle, so I don't know if 15 minutes for 24 or 5 days is reasonable or crazy. I don't know. Um, I guess the one tough thing is it's harder to get like into the flow if you're just doing 15 minutes here and there versus normally I would just get lost into a puzzle and do it for like hours and listen. I've listened to entire audiobooks while doing a puzzle. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. Right now, I'm gonna put on a crappy Christmas movie, which I love. And normally, I don't like bad movies, but there's something about Christmas movies that the bad ones are good, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna put this on in the background because you don't need to watch it, basically. And then, let's start. Let's start, okay. Side. Got my um, tea of the day as well. Maybe this will be the tradition that I do the tea of the day while I do my puzzle. Minutes of puzzle. Okay, but like I said, today we're doing 30 minutes, so I mean, I'm probably gonna spend pretty much all of today just organizing the pieces, but anyway, ready? Let's do 30. 30 minute timer. Go! Okay, press play. Okay, that is the end of our third day of Vlogmas. Raya is asleep, I'm editing the video. As I mentioned earlier, thank you for everyone that's visited the Live the Adventure store, that is snapping up that merch. Probably by the time this video goes live, all of the large hoodies have sold out. There's only one left right now, and it's gonna be gone any second. Uh, we have some medium hoodies left. We have plenty of the long sleeve t-shirts. So, like I said, head over there, it's, uh, a really nice way for you to support us and it's actually really fun doing this uh, I'm enjoying it a lot in one of the future vlogs when we get back from London I will show you the whole process of me bleaching because I haven't pre-bleached I'm actually gonna be making them to order so I'm gonna be making them over the next few weeks ready for your Christmas presents cool right we'll catch you in the morning peace <laughs>